Alright, welcome to the third tutorial where we left off working on the combat system. So, for the player, let's add gold and pot, potions. Say pots for that, and then right here we can do gold equals. And then we'll do the same potions. And now what we need to do is create a class for the enemy. Class, we'll create an enemy called Goblin. And I'll basically have the same thing as a player, except these two. And instead of gold, I'll have gold gain, which is how much money the player earns after killing this enemy. So let's have a 10. And then we'll do Goblin. IG will equal goblin and goblin. Okay. So let's create a second enemy. Called zombie. And so he'll be zombie IG. Oh yeah, let's order their attack. So for this one, we'll make it attack 5. For this one will be 7. We'll do 70 health. And 50 health. Change the goal gain to 15. Alright. Now, we need to decide what enemy you'll be fighting. So to do that, we'll do, we'll define pre-fight, and then up here, let's import random. And the reason we're importing random is you'll see in a sec, so pre-fight, uh, enemy number will equal random, so this is the library, and then we'll call a function in the library, which will be rand int, random integer. And we'll do random integer from 1 to 2. So this basically sets a variable called enemy number. And it'll equal a random integer from 1 to 2. So basically choose a random number 1 or 2. So if enemy num equals 1, then we'll set enemy equal to goblin ig. We also need to make enemy global so we can call it in other functions. We'll do else, else, then enemy will equal zombie IG. And then go to fight. Ugh. And for this, let's print, we'll print the player's name versus enemy name. So player IG dot name. And then, enemy name. And then right here we'll print player's health. Hmm, I'll do D for the side. Actually, we could do that. I for the side. So this will be, um, actually something even better. So this will be the player's name, and then apostrophe S, health. And then it will be the health, max health, enemy name, enemy health, max health. And then I guess we could put apostrophe S too right here. So this will do player ig dot name. Player IG dot health. Oh yeah, in the order that these are in do need to be in the order that this is in. So like player name corresponds with this, 
Player health corresponds to this. So yeah, order matters. Player ing dot max health, and then we'll do enemy name. Enemy health, and then the last one's enemy dot max health. <sighs> All right, so and then we could do potions. The amount of potions the player has. Player ig dot pots. And I think that's everything, so we'll make a new line after that. Print, then we'll do options. Print, one, attack. Two will be, let's see. Two, drink potion. And three, we'll play to run. What's this? I know an enemy name. Enemy dot name. So we'll do option equals raw score input. Do if option equals one. One. Go to attack. Else if option equals two, then we want to go to method called drink potion drink pot lf option equals three then go to run else we will just go back to fight so now we define these three variables you can do that by doing define no, not fight. Attack. Pass. Fine. Drink pot. Pass. Fine run. Pass. Alright, so an attack. We'll do OS dot system clear. Oh, that's also something you do for right here. And then after this, we'll define two variables, so p attack and e attack. Player attack, enemy attack. This will equal random dot rand int to make the attacks random. So the lowest attack will be divided by two. And the highest attack will just be attack. And then, yeah, this will be the same, but with enemy. Copy that. Alright, now we need logic. So if... If, let's see, enemy... No. P attack equals... Player IG dot attack. Alright, by two, then the player will miss. So print... You miss. Score input. And I'm doing this just to pause so then when the player presses enter, um, it'll go on. That's what I was gonna do. Actually we don't we don't actually don't need to put that right here. We can just do else print you deal damage. attack and then you do enemy dot health minus equal so this basically subtracts p attack from enemy health so base this this basically means enemy dot health equals enemy dot health minus p attack now right here we'll do option equals raw input OS system 
clear. And this tutorial's getting pretty long already, so I'll just put in two. So I'll start right here. So in the next tutorial, I will do the enemy. We'll do the enemy attack. Then we'll do the drink potion function, and then we'll do the run function. And then after that, we'll do this shop.